This is the Nude C12, a clone of one of the world's most renowned microphones, and I think you are probably asking the wrong question about it. Hi folks, I'm Mike. And I hope you will. The AKG C12 is one of the most renowned microphones in history, being a favourite of people like Prince, Alanis Morissette and Tom Petty, to name but a few. It's had a few variations over the years and there's also been OEM versions by Siemens and Telefunken. It's also one of the more expensive microphones around, but we'll discuss that later. Now, the new C12 clone is a lot less expensive, but is it any good? Well, I've been putting it through its paces on a number of different sources, and I'll be playing a demo of that later on in this video. But first of all, let's discuss this term, clone. The new C12 does nod its head to the physical characteristics of the AKG C12. And like that microphone, it's also a multipolar pattern microphone and uses a tube or valve. But have they cloned the AKG C12 part for part? Well, in a word, no. Nude, an Australian company, say they have cloned the sonic fingerprint of the AKG C12. 12 at a much lower cost. Now, the lower cost is definitely not in question, but does it sound like an AKG C12? Is that even the right question to be asking? We'll look at that later, but first, let's take a look at the Nude C12 clone. Physically, the Nude C12 is, well, nude, without a logo in sight. And no matter how refined it may sound, it's 24 centimeters of heavy metal. A quick look inside revealed that it's powered by a 12 AX7, also known as an ECC83 tube. Now the large case that this mic comes in reveals a nice metal shock mount, a foam windshield, and a power supply. So this is gonna work with preamps that have no phantom power. This not only supplies the power to the mic, but it also allows you to select from the nine different polar patterns. These patterns make use of the mic's dual-headed 33mm capsule. For the nerds amongst you, here are the sound specs, but for me, it's all about the sound. In order to discover how this microphone sounds, I decide to use it on many different sources. Over the course of about one and a half minutes, you're going to hear it used on female vocals, male vocals, acoustic guitar, an electric guitar amp, a bass guitar amp, a cajon, some drumsticks, and uh, a shaker. Oh, by the way, Mackenzie's Whole Black Peppercorns are not sponsors of this video. So give it a listen and let me know what you think of its sound in the comments down below. When you're hiding, I'm hiding too. I laugh with you When you're feeling sad I'm feeling blue When you feel alone I'll come to you When you need to weep I'll be your tears The current price of the AKG C12 on Sweetwater is $6,659 US dollars. Now, if you could get a clone at say half that price or 20% of that price, you'd be in bargain territory, right? Well, 
How about 6% of that price? At 439 US dollars, that's the territory that the new C12 clone is in. So it definitely competes on price. But does it sound like a C12? I mean, is that even the right question to be asking? Sure, it's a fair question to ask when a company describes a microphone as a clone. But I want you to ask yourself, given the demo that you've already heard, considering the price point of this microphone, consider its features and the fact that it's also a tube microphone. And do you think this is just a great microphone in its own right? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. For me personally, for that price, 439 US dollars, the multi-patterns, a tube microphone, I think this is really a great addition to any home studio. Now I had this microphone plugged into an Audion ASP800 mic preamp. I've made a video about that preamp right here. It really is a modern day classic in my opinion. You should check that out now.